you want to take my next appointment? No? Fine. And now to be honest, they were just giving me super weird vibes on the phone. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this one. Of course I tried to give them to you. That's what good coworkers do. you the the next appointment wonderful all right well hi i'm mira we spoke on the phone so nice to meet you guys in person okay yeah go ahead grab a seat make yourself comfortable can i get you anything water tea okay well if that changes just let me know i'm happy to grab anything for you so let me go ahead and grab all my stuff here was just preparing before you came, so on our agenda for today. Okay, so I've got today's planning goals, discuss dates and locations for your party, basic themes and colors, anticipated guest count, uh, time of day you guys are hoping for, any food or drinks you might want to provide, entertainment, that sort of thing. We're really just trying to get a general overview, the basics of what you're desiring for your party. Yeah. Yeah, no, we are. We're happy to help. That's what we're here for, party planners and all. Um, do you have any questions for me before we start? No. Okay. Wonderful. Well, I guess we can jump right in. My first question for you guys. You seemed a little hesitant to, um, to describe the reason that you want a party, so if you wouldn't mind kind of going into a little more detail, that way I have a better idea of what to plan for you. Okay. Okay, so like half family reunion, half baby shower. Oh, congratulations! Is it you guys or another family member? It is you guys. Well, again, congrats. Um, okay, so half family reunion, half baby shower. I can certainly work with that. Um, okay, what's that? Um, yes, we can certainly look at some different color packages and everything. Um, we'll get into that a little more later. Um, first thing is first for you guys. Dates. Are you thinking anything in particular? I will have to kind of look at our schedule to see what dates we have available. It will also depend on what location you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I can definitely. Okay. And do you both work? So, going around the work schedule is important, absolutely. What are the typical hours? Okay. So those are block out dates. Don't look at those on the calendar for parties, okay. Go ahead and pull out that calendar. Let me know if there's anything that might be conflict of interest that you guys already have on there. Okay. Alright, so no to that Saturday. Anything fun planned? A hunting day. Oh wow, okay. Oh, that's a whole weekend affair. Okay, so no to that. Okay. No the following Sunday as well. Okay. Okay, anything else? Okay. Absolutely, I can get that down here. Okay, well, that kind of makes my life a little easier. 
Um, you don't have too many block outs. Some people come in with calendars lit up like Christmas trees with different color coatings and everything. So you guys are pretty easy. All right. So I'll definitely leave a lot of open room. Are you thinking any specific time of year? Obviously, we're trying to get the baby shower in before the baby arrives. Absolutely. Um, you know, I would say it depends on, you know, how involved you want the party to be, um, how many details are really important to you, um, you know, the, the sky is the limit as far as what all you guys want to have happen for your party. You know, it's your party. We can pretty much do almost anything that you would like, but if you have a lot of requests or you choose a lot of custom options, that will take a bit longer. Um, so the availability will be a bit more scarce for that. I'll have to push it out a little bit further, yeah. Yep, no problem. As we go, I can kind of give you an idea of what might be the things that take longer if you're hoping for a party sooner? Of course. Okay. So timing is a concern for you guys. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Okay. Now, is this something that you guys are wanting to do? piece of family property? Are you wanting to look at our package of different locations that you can rent out? Uh-huh. Okay. We certainly have a few national parks that are willing to work with us. Those do make scheduling a little more difficult. We like the idea of outside in nature, okay? The one thing I will say about any sort of um, park option is that if you have any guests coming, you mentioned it's a half family reunion. Um, if you have any guests coming that are elderly, the paths aren't very stable. If you have anyone in wheelchairs or walkers or any disabled guests either. Um, and, you know, AC is obviously not outside and it can get pretty hot during these months. So or uh, the expecting uh, individual there that could get, they could get a little toasty, so maybe you just, I could put a note down to make sure we bring some fans or some, uh, lots of ice coolers, that kind of thing. Okay, of course, of course. Okay, any other things you guys are thinking of besides national parks? Maybe a zoo, oh how fun, okay. We've done one or two parties at a zoo before. Okay. That one... That one, I'll be honest with you, it will be the hardest to get into. Yeah, because they've got their own events running and summertime is a big time for, um, you know, school field trips. Well, not school field trips with summertime, but like summer camps, that kind of thing. Schools schedule summer camps. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a make or break if you can't have the zoo. Okay, anything else? A firing range. Okay. Um... I think we did, hey, didn't we do a party at that one range for the, um, the gentleman that was retiring from the military? Like, he threw a big thing. Yes, we've done one before. Uh, I'd have to pull up that file to remember which one. Yeah, I don't think they let them shoot, right, because of the liability. So, like, they shut it down and no one was allowed to... 
that one worked for you, you would want to be able to shoot. Family tradition? No. Okay, um... For what it's worth, I don't think you'd be able to shoot in the, the zoo or the national park either. Okay. Um... A local airport? Any pilots in the family? Just very interested in planes. Okay, yeah, no, I... Can't say that we've done one at an airport, no. No, but that would certainly be a fun challenge. We always welcome a challenge, yep. Yeah probably have better availability than the other areas. Okay, to... Availability. I'd have to check and see if they had any hosting rooms. Yeah. While we're on that topic, um, and you're letting me know kind of what locations you might be considering, do you have, like, a general idea of a guest count? That's a lot of people for a family reunion slash baby shower. Okay, yeah, that, um, that will definitely cut down on the places that can hold your party. Okay, now is that your, uh, invite number? Or is that who you actually anticipate coming? You think they'll just all show up? Okay. Write that number down. Circle it a few times. Right. Okay. Um, what other locations are you thinking of? Some family property, of course, of course. Land in the country. Oh, how nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely something that we, uh, with family land, we can bring tents, we can bring fans, and we can set up little tables and chairs and everything. You know, for a group that size, it sounds like that might be one of your best options right now. But I'm happy to look and, uh, see what the other places might be able to do for you. Of course, of course. Okay, anything else or just those? Do I know of anywhere that could allow shooting? It just seems like a lot of these requests you want to have shooting involved, which to each their own, if that's your thing, that's totally fine. Um, but in combination with the family reunion and baby shower, I am forced to wonder if you are not trying to circumvent our very strict and very public gender reveal party stipulations. No. No, of course that wouldn't be the case, would it? No. Let me be blunt. If it is, in fact, a gender reveal party that you are wanting, you need to tell me now so that we can have you fill out the appropriate paperwork. If you sign one of our contracts and it was not, in fact, a gender reveal party that you were requesting, that's fine. But if you sign a contract and it is a gender reveal party, then your contract is null and void and we will be forced to drop you as clients. Listen, I know you don't understand um, why this is such a big deal, but there's... Oh boy. 
there have been lawsuits against planning companies, and we have to carry general liability insurance. And our insurance company won't cover us for certain things. So there's some paperwork that we have to fill out, and it's very important that we do so properly, okay? Okay. So, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Is this a gender reveal party? Okay. Could you hand me the booklet? Yeah, the the gender reveal party booklet. Just one second. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. We have a whole separate binder for this. go over all the different ways in which we won't do a gender reveal that our insurance won't cover, so. Oh boy, there's a lot of them, so. Let's see. You know what? Let's hold off on this for now. We've discovered some dates. Discussed. Discovered, yeah discussed and discovered what you would like to have for dates and locations. So I'll put a check mark there. Basic themes and colors. Let me guess. Blue and pink. Delightful. I was going to show you all of our lovely swatches, but I take it you won't want to see our tablecloth swatches from our luxury line. This one could maybe work. It's tasteful, but still blue. No. Okay. I really have some lovely colors. I think you could do a really classy gender reveal party. No. Okay. Well, that's okay, because those would have all been a little bit of an upcharge anyway. And like I said, they are, are more luxury options. Um, also got, you know, the rest of these, which are or base options that you would, uh, this just comes in the package. Any of these colors you can select, combine, do your heart's content. I believe, uh, depending on the base package that you selected, there's a few tiers. Even the lowest base package gets two different colors. Unfortunately. Um, so, we've got anything from lovely yellows to greens to um, this really, really stunning purple tone. You know, a little bit more of a, uh, it's kind of like a, a plum, almost like a fuchsia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, uh, okay, what about like a nice teal? Getting closer. I'm sure I am. Um, you know, you really could, you could do so many other things than the blue and the pink for a gender reveal. You really could. A baby shower. Ugh, oh, this blue, this light, beautiful blue that's not quite the baby blue would be darling. No. Okay. You have all of these options. Blue and pink. Okay. This pink? Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? This is the baby pink. You want to do a hot pink? Next year, until you want to see those stripes. Okay, we'll come back to that.
The blue is good though. Okay, a hot pink you say. Closer. Get the fabric swatch numbers off of those. Write them down. Are you sure you don't want to go for more understated with the blue? you like those on alternating tables? I think you have color for me. Okay, napkins. What's your interest level in balloons? the same guest count now that I know it's gender reveal, huh? That is one big party. What, um, aside from the main event being the gender reveal, um, what are your main goals for this party? What is, what is something that speaks to you when you think of it that really resonates, makes you think, wow, that was a great party? Unforgettable. Oh no. Okay. What time of day are you thinking? Evening, dinner time. Are you trying to serve a meal with this? So you're inviting that many people you want to have the party around dinner time, and you're not going to be providing a meal for your guests. You should do like a snack bar or something cute, like with some cakes and some finger foods. I know you're looking at me like I have three heads. Okay, um, most of the time, you do recommend that if you're going to have a party around a meal time or So no. I'm a food drink though. Okay. Aside from the gender reveal, for entertainment, are you wanting anything fun? Music, games, parties, and stuff? How long are you hoping for this party to go? as long as the reveal takes. I think now would be a really good time for me to run through what the um, gender reveal no-nos are with our company that our insurance does not cover us if we attempt to do, so buckle up. Okay, so 
again per her insurance company. There will be no plain reveals of any kind. No banners, no smoke, no nothing. Would you like me to cite the reasons for all these no's? I can send you the links. Uh, so there was a crash of a Cessna 206. I think it was something to do with barrels of dye loaded up and they dumped it into a river and didn't account for the sudden weight loss and then the plane just... I don't think there were survivors. Thank you. And that's just one. So, um, after that, so no, no plane reveals. Um, nothing with incendiaries. So, large flames, fireworks, explosives. That's a no with us. Okay. You seem very disappointed right now. I can only imagine why. What are the reasons? Um, well, I've got three listed right here. So, it says that there was uh, 23,000 acres of California acreage, I believe it was a national park, um, that was burnt down because of the improper use of incendiaries for a gender reveal. 23,000 acres. How many, how, how much acreage is on your family property? Yeah, imagine that, but times, like, more than I can think of right now. There was an explosive target that a, a couple decided to try to homemake and use that leveled 45,000 acres. I think that one was in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. I can send you the newspaper article on that as well. Yeah, so again, insurance won't cover it. Um, there was a car incident where they tried to do a smoke bomb in the back and the driver and passenger tried to open the smoke bombs up while doing uh, donuts or burnouts, or however you want to call them, um, and the car burst into flames. Yes, I believe both individuals were hospitalized. I'm unsure if they survived. So, moral of the story, no incendiaries, no large flames, no explosives with us, okay? I get the feeling we're going to circle back to that. Uh, no dartboards, funnily enough. There was a, a story of someone tossing a dart and getting lodged into a guest's ankle uh, because of very poor aim, so insurance won't cover liability for that because they did get sued. Um, no firing of cannons, specifically antique cannons, I believe. In that instance, they caused a minor earthquake. I'll have to look that one up again. It's been a while since I brushed up on this, but... No antique cannon firing. Um, no pinatas. We don't do pinatas. There was the, the one story about this one was the expectant mother to be took the baseball bat to the face. I think she was fine. Anyway, um, mm, nothing involving alligators or crocodiles for obvious reasons. That does include it being your own pet. Yes. Do you have a pet alligator or crocodile? Don't answer that, actually. Um, no feeding zoo animals. Uh, food with questionable dye contents in them. There's a specific one with a hippo and a watermelon case. I can go ahead and cross that zoo option off then what I thought. Okay, I'll just cross the zoo location right off. I'll be honest, that would have been one of your more expensive anyway, so it's probably for the best. Um, no monster trucks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that was something I've seen. Unless you want to go to like a monster truck derby of your own accord, separate from us, and do something there, and then we 
host a party, but we will not uh, be responsible for scheduling any sort of monster truck anything. Right, okay. Um, and the last one, but a big one, I always save the best for last. No die in national and or local park waters. I can go ahead and cross off the national parks. Yeah. Saw that one online, did ya? Thought it was a good idea. No. 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 Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to read your guess that the firing range is on your locations because you wanted to do some sort of a gun reveal. Yeah, so, as mentioned earlier, no incendiaries, no fire, no explosives. It's kinda... you get the idea. You get the idea. Yeah. So I'm gonna cross that off as well. Mm, local airport. Do I want to know what you were thinking of? You have a list? Oh, I would absolutely love to see the list of your ideas. Please? Yes. Okay. Yep. Hand her over. Hand her over. Oh. That's a lot. It's front and back. Okay. Mind if I mark on it? Perfect, okay. So, option number one you have as colored gunpowder to be shot. We're talking like blanks or you wanted to fill your own brass. with powder that you dyed. No. No, that's gonna be a hard no from us. Yeah. I also get the feeling that'll be a hard no from any firing range. Number two. Colored Roman candles. <sighs> I'm sorry, I think this one says, see if we can rent a tiger from Carol Baskin and feed it a carcass that has been dyed internally. I might have misread it. This is sometimes handwriting's a funny thing. No, you... that's your idea. You originally wanted Tiger King, but seeing as he's indisposed, you settled for Carol Baskin. You know what? You're absolutely right. Uh, tigers were not on the no list. a white puppy to dye it and hide it in a box for the reveal. Are you in the market for a new puppy? You're allergic. Dare I 
ask what you were going to do with said puppy after? See which of your guests wanted it. We have your phone number on file, right? Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to make a few calls to the local shelter later to make sure you're requested from everything. Um, no. Actually, I think we just, um, just the other day, didn't we? We came up with a new rule that we don't do live animals, right? We saw advertisements for petting zoos that we've arranged. Well, that, I think that's a misprint. Yeah. Anyway, number six. Oh my gosh. Half great grandma skydive and the parachute be the reveal color? Why, why great grandma? Why bring great grandma into this? What did she do? She's had a good long life. Wow, okay, that's... Oh, I don't want to read the rest of these. Um, you know, thankfully, that involves planes, so that's... Great grandma could live to see another day. Number seven. A tarp filled with colored glitter hanging above that is dumped onto everyone's heads. Are you a psychopath? Sorry, I know that was very unprofessional of me. Glitter? That never leaves. That's the point. Because you wanted an unforgettable party. Listen, while our party planning services might not have any sort of obligation to glitter, I have a moral, um, a moral issue with glitter, so I won't, I won't be doing that. Number eight says gender reveal tattoos. Who's getting the tattoos? Oh, you too. Just out of curiosity, what would these tattoos be of? You would get the ultrasound tattooed on you, if it's a boy or it's a girl. Curiosity killed the cat. Where would you get that tattoo placed? If you want to do if you want to do gender tattoo reveals on your own, that's totally up to you. Um, I can't legally sign off on you flashing that body part. So We just went bowling pins filled with colored powder and explosives. Please tell me. Please, please tell me. You mean to set these up outside on your family property? You want to do it in an actual bowling alley. Lithium chloride or copper? 
put into a flamethrower? Does that note say that you'll provide the flamethrower? Why do you have a flamethrower? That's a hard no. That's, that's a really hard no. You really shouldn't. I'm curious now. How exactly would you put the lithium chloride or the copper into it? To throw the flames? You would mix it in with the gasoline. Darwin Awards goes to, um, I cannot express how highly I advise against that. Yeah. Um, okay. And the last one is... Filling Chinese spy balloons with powder and hoping that an F-22 shoots it down. Oh, you thought that was a really good one, huh? Listen. I say this As much, uh, um, as much respect as I can to someone who came up with all of these ideas. We want you to be happy, I think. We want us to be happy. I don't think we're the party planning service for you. It sounds like working with us would put a lot of constraints. Necessary very wide constraints, but constraints nonetheless, on your plans. Um, I just don't think this is gonna work out. No. What do I have against the Chinese spy balloon and the F-22 idea? I, ca I can't. I can't do this. I no, I can't do this. Actually, this... Do you know how many gender reveals I've planned in the past year alone with, with, with stupid pink and stupid blue and really stupid ideas because no one's happy to cut the cake or better yet, just not care? Really? At all? Not need to announce it on social media or everyone on Facebook? Whatever happened to just like having a baby and not being it? Um, too many. I've planned too many gender reveals. Too many. And I'm tired of them. I'm so tired of them. So, um, I think we're done here. No, no, sorry. I recognize you might not be done here. I'm done here. I'm done here. I quit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. I cannot plan another gender reveal party, especially one with that with you entry list back. I've got, I've crossed out things on it now. Okay. Um, yeah, I quit. So, it was not lovely meeting you today. Um, I really hope that you don't do any of those ideas. They're very stupid and very dangerous, and I have concerns for your future child, um, and any pet, honestly, that you guys adopt, too. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sure you're going to call my manager, but it doesn't matter. I can say whatever I want to, because I just quit. Yeah. Yeah, that feels really good. That feels so good. Wow. Your gender reveal party idea is so stupid. Save your money. Just, like, spend it on the baby. No. But you're not gonna do that because you got pregnant so it could be an accessory instead of just like a kid for you to love and cherish. Yeah. No. <sighs> yeah. Well, have fun with your new Facebook and Instagram accessory uh, and your new little hashtags and your 
explosive party. Um, I am going to go apply to the job, the administration job I saw at the therapist's office down the road because maybe they'll give employee discounts. And goodness knows I'm gonna need it after this. So, I wish you everything you deserve. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, 